Hey guys, welcome back. So today I decided to do a video on how to avoid having dry lips because we all know the struggle of having your lips look all gross, dry, crusty, very wrinkly throughout the day. It's really hard to avoid, especially if you wear liquid lipsticks or if you wear matte lipsticks, especially now that the winter season is coming up. We're going to be wearing a lot of matte and liquid lipsticks. Hopefully these tips will help you out. These are just things that work out for me, so hopefully they will do the same for you. If you guys want more how to avoid videos, any other type of tip videos that I can give you guys on my knowledge and things that work for me, let me know down below and I'll definitely do them for you. And let's just get right into this video. I usually avoid applying any lipstick on my lips if I have any foundation or concealer left over because I feel like that emphasizes the dryness on my lips. If you are going to do this, make sure you hydrate your lips before and exfoliate so that you have a nice, clean, smooth base. I just personally don't like the way my lipstick looks when I have foundation underneath it. I feel like it looks more crusty, very wrinkly, it emphasizes any harsh lines that I have on my lips and any flakiness. And I just feel like it separates my lipstick. So if I do have anything left over, I like to go in with some makeup wipes. I like to go in with makeup wipes because it gets rid of any excess foundation you have on your lips. It will hydrate them and remove any flakiness or dryness that you have to help create a nice, clean, smooth base for your lipstick to go on. I also try to not apply lip liner all over my lips. Lip pencils tend to be drier and if you have already dry lips, I wouldn't recommend to apply it everywhere. And if you are going to, make sure to apply lip balm before just so that the lip liner will go on smoothly and will just feel very kind of like gel-like. I just personally don't like the way my lips look when I apply lip liner everywhere. I know a lot of people like to use it to make their lip color pop even more and to make their lipstick last longer. So if that works for you, then keep doing it. But if you notice that your lips look drier when you apply lip liner, then maybe you should stop doing that and maybe just go in and apply it on the outer part of your lips. But if it does work for you, then keep doing that. I just personally feel like it clumps up a lot. I get little balls of the lip liner stuck to my lip and I just personally don't like the way it looks. So I like to use the lip liner just on the outer parts of my lip and then I leave the inner part blank so that the lipstick can be applied there and I'm not applying lipstick on lipstick and product on product just because I feel like sometimes it can be really heavy when I apply too much stuff on my lips. Also a lip scrubber is really helpful because it will remove the dead flakes that you have on your lips. It will enhance your lip color because it will even out the color of your lips. And you can use a toothbrush as a lip scrubber as well if you don't have the specific product because you can just rub it against your lips and that will remove any dead skin cells that you have on there. I like to use a lip scrubber from Lush. It is the mint flavored one but I don't eat it. I just take a makeup wipe and remove any excess of it on there because I feel like it's kind of gross to eat the dead flakes that are on your lips. Also a lip balm is super important. It will hydrate your lips. I use it before bed so that I can hydrate all night long. Also, use one with SPF in it to protect your lips from the sun and avoid using these ingredients because those ingredients tend to dry out your lips more. So I'll just apply a little bit on my lips and again, go in with a makeup wipe to remove any excess just so my lips aren't too glossy and too slippery and too lip balmish because sometimes that will make your lipstick slide everywhere. And lastly, I like to use padding motions when I apply lipstick. I just personally like the way my lipstick looks afterwards. Instead of just rubbing it how normal people do all over your lips, I just like to use little padding motions because I feel like I'm not dragging my lips around or making them look even more wrinkly. This is just like a tip that I do. I mean, I don't know if it really makes that big of a difference, but I just personally like the way the finish looks. And then afterwards, I will go in with my finger and just pat it in and also get rid of any excess lipstick that I have on there. I just feel like it gives you a really soft, angelic look to your lips. They look really kissable, very soft, very babyish. So I just personally like the way it looks. The same thing with liquid lipstick. I will apply a very little amount on my lips. And the rest of the lipstick I will spread out with my fingers just because I feel like I'm not putting that much product on there. And I'm really just tapping, in, tapping it into my lips and making sure that it's set. So these are the steps that I do before I apply any lipstick. I just feel like this is the best way to prepare my lips for a long day of wearing liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. And this is just what works best for me. Okay guys, so those are all the tips I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope these tips work out for you. If they don't, please let me know down below. And if they do work out, also let me, also let me know down below. 
because I honestly love hearing from you guys and having feedback. I mean, that's what YouTube is about, is about interacting with each other and having feedback and comments. And even if it does sound like negative, it honestly doesn't really affect me. I just really love to hear other people's opinions. So please let me know down below how these tips work out for you or if you have any other tips to share with everyone else and we can all kind of like learn a little bit more. So I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!